we always thought that it is going to be a crowded market uh, we never thought that it's going to be a uh, winner takes it all or there only going to be three or four players but i think what is important is that every within the uh, crowded market also everyone's found their own niche right if you look at co-working it's divided into three or four segments uh, there is one set of co-working which only focuses on startups then there's another set of co-working which is only focusing on smes and you know short term requirements of uh, enterprises and then there's the third set which focuses only on enterprises uh, i think the crowded bit is the first two uh, the focus on enterprise bit is uh, is the one that is not as crowded it is crowded but it is not as crowded as the other uh, two versions so i think uh, the fact that many people are adapting this and many people are opening up co-working space means that the concept is here to stay right people have accepted this as an alternative to traditional office spaces uh so while on one side it's great that these many players are there uh on the other side i think the niche that you pick up is very important uh while we have competition in co-working as a segment but the segment within that segment the niche that we are targeting is enterprise which i don't think a lot of players are competing in well obviously we work was the giant in the industry they were the ones that were leading uh the co-working revolution Uh, if i may call it that but i think again it's the segments that you start targeting right i don't think we were competing directly with we work because we weren't focusing on the kind of clientele that we works goes after uh, we were focusing on more of the enterprise side of uh, clientele which is the traditional office space so we like to think that we were competing with traditional office spaces rather than other co-working players at that point of time and i think uh, it's it's about the metrics right at the end of the day uh, one needs to understand that profitability is very very important uh, especially in real estate where uh, you want to grow every 2 3 4 years so in order to achieve those numbers uh, profitability is important and our focus has always been on towards that whenever we wanted to go in for funding right the most important thing for us was to prove to ourselves that we will be able to capitalize and the proof of concept is there uh, we always knew that we were different than co-working so we had to establish our own uh, you know kind of a segment that we were going after uh, i think the last 3 years has been doing towards that right we've invested significant amount of money from the founders itself who have come in and invested that money to grow the company to a certain extent where we were confident enough that we had the capability to take up external funding and add that responsibility to ourselves too uh, i think that is where uh, we were more comfortable and that's why we didn't go out for a uh, pre series a or a shorter a small smaller round of funding because we wanted to make sure that our proof of concept is there and the funding really helps us scale uh, what we've done so far whatever our model has been uh, evolved to uh, we're just scaling that now uh, so in order to get to that perfect model we wanted to make sure that we're producing our own money to get it to that and uh, honestly uh, i think the synergies with capital land really match right they are uh, they are one of the leading uh, conglomerates uh, with real estate uh, interest uh, in southeast asia and i think that just the interest uh, with respect to what we are doing our focus is on enterprises is something that uh, we thought that they really understood and aligned with our uh, kind of goals so i think that's why we uh, it was a great partner to partner with like the video then don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to entrepreneur india hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos